What if I told you the way that we see and interact with the world is about to change forever? Imagine scanning an entire building like the historic Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris with a phone, drone or laser scanner and creating a digital 3D model in seconds. Picture self-driving cars navigating through cities using maps that are more detailed than anything we've ever seen before. This isn't the future, it's happening right now. In this video, we're diving into 3D mapping, what it is, how it works, and why it's already revolutionizing industries like gaming, construction, and transportation. Stick around to the end to see how you can start using this technology today and how it's helping to restore icons like the Notre Dame Cathedral. So what exactly is 3D mapping? It's the process of creating a digital three-dimensional representation of the real world. Unlike a traditional map, which is flat, 3D mapping captures depth, height, and details, making it possible to explore and interact with digital spaces as if they were real. Think about Google Earth when you zoom into a city and suddenly the building pops up in 3D. That's 3D mapping in action. But this technology isn't just for navigation. It's powering everything from virtual reality to disaster response and even space exploration. The Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris tragically caught fire in 2019, causing widespread damage. Thanks to detailed 3D scans taken before the fire, architects and historians have incredibly accurate digital blueprints. These scans are guiding the restoration process, ensuring every ornate detail is preserved. Creating a 3D map isn't as simple as taking a picture, but I will come back to this later. There are several advanced methods used to turn real world objects into digital models. One of the most common methods is called photogrammetry. This process involves taking hundreds of overlapping photos from different angles and using software to stitch them together into a 3D model. Drones, for example, are often used to capture images from above, creating detailed, digital maps of entire landscapes. Another powerful technique is LIDAR, or light detection and ranging. LIDAR uses lasers to measure distances and create precise 3D maps. This is the same technology that some self-driving cars use to detect objects and navigate safely. And then there's AI and machine learning, which are now helping generate 3D maps faster than ever before. New AI tools can take just a few images and reconstruct entire environments in 3D. Companies like Nvidia have even developed AI models that can generate 3D scans using nothing but video footage. Gaussian splats and nerfs are game changers in 3D mapping. These techniques allow for highly detailed 3D models to be created with minimal amounts of data. Instead of relying on thousands of individual photos or point clouds, NERFs use AI to predict how light interacts with objects, creating stunningly accurate 3D reconstructions from just a handful of images. Researchers are even making progress towards generating full 3D models from single images, something that could become mainstream in just a few years. All right. Quick promo time. For any organization needing up-to-date site visibility, Swivel is the interactive 360 degree collaboration platform that eliminates unnecessary travel, delivers a single source of truth, and empowers teams to make faster, safer decisions from anywhere. So you can slash costs, reduce risk, and keep every project on track in one irresistible solution. To learn more, visit swivel.io or subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with our journey. All right, so back into it. So with 3D mapping, this technology isn't just cool. It's changing the way we live and work. In construction and architecture, 
3D mapping is being used before buildings even exist. Engineers can take real world measurements and use 3D models to design structures with pinpoint accuracy, preventing costly mistakes. Self-driving cars rely on detailed 3D maps to understand their surroundings. Unlike human drivers, they can't rely on road signs or landmarks. They need constantly updated 3D models to know exactly where they are and what obstacles are ahead. The gaming and VR industries have also embraced 3D mapping in a huge way. Developers use real world scanned environments to create incredibly realistic digital worlds. If you've played games like Microsoft Flight Simulator or explored detailed open world games, you've already seen 3D mapping in action. And in disaster response, 3D maps are helping emergency teams assess earthquake damage, track wildfires, and even predict floods. By scanning an area before and after a disaster, response teams can act faster and make better decisions. What's amazing is that 3D mapping isn't industry specific. It's being applied in more ways than we ever imagined. From agriculture to space exploration. Which industry do you think benefits the most from 3D mapping? Drop your answer in the comments below. You don't have to be a scientist or a game developer to try 3D mapping yourself. There are tools available right now that you can experiment with at home. If you have an iPhone or iPad with a LiDAR sensor, you can use apps like Polycam or the Luma AI Capture app to scan objects, rooms, or even entire buildings in 3D. I'll include some links in the description below. If you're into drones, companies like DJI offer software that lets you capture aerial imagery and create detailed 3D models of landscapes and cities. And if you just want to explore, Google Earth has an incredible 3D mode where you can fly over cities, mountains, and landmarks in full 3D. So what's next for 3D mapping? The biggest shift is happening right now with AI, automation, and real-time data collection. Soon, 3D maps won't just be a snapshot in time. They'll be constantly updated by fleets of autonomous vehicles, robots, and drones, giving us a real-time view of the world. Imagine a future where your car updates road conditions in real time, or where search and rescue teams instantly generate 3D maps of disaster zones, guiding first responders before they even set foot on site. Another game changer on the horizon is quantum navigation. Right now, GPS is crucial for mapping and navigation, but quantum-based systems could make traditional GPS obsolete. These systems would be able to track position and movement with extreme precision, without needing satellites at all. You might also hear the term 4D mapping being thrown around. While it sounds futuristic, it really just refers to 3D maps with a time component, showing changes over time, whether it's monitoring a construction site or tracking urban growth. As AI continues to evolve, we're looking at a world where spatial data is captured, processed, and analyzed without human input. Eventually, 3D mapping won't just be about seeing the world, it will be about interacting with it in real time. 3D mapping is shaping the future, and it's only going to get better as AI and automation continue to evolve. If you found this video interesting, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps this channel reach more people. And if you're curious about the future of this technology, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive. Thanks for watching.